In the past couple of days, I've been working extremely hard. I'm not even kidding. Would you just look at that? Or would you look at that? <laughs> That's right. In a previous episode, I found out that Slogoman built a wall around my base. Oh, so sad. I used the wall in my advantage to build this really cool looking mine. Yeah, th this is my mine tower. <laughs> look, you can go down here and then you'll go into a mine. Wow, great. I've also worked on like a little furnace area, chest area, mine cart that goes down, a, a trash can, a secret hidden base that you should probably not tell Josh about. And I think the next thing I've got on my list is fixing up my house. Anyway, in the previous episode, I asked you to guess in the comment section what I'm building on my new island. <laughs> and we're gonna do a funny little challenge, okay? I want you to guess right now what this is. And only if you guessed right, you are allowed to press the like button. Are you ready for me to tell you what it is? Oh, this, ladies and gentlemen, is an iron golem farm. <laughs> Make sure you press the like button if you guessed it correctly. That's right. This farm will basically produce me iron. I will have so much iron that I can build my entire house out of iron. Now, you might be asking me, Jelly, how exactly are you gonna do this? Well, let me show you. Over here, we've got a couple of bedrooms. In fact, we've got four of them. In these odd looking bedrooms, we are gonna put villagers. And do you see that soul sand with some water? Well, there, a zombie will stand. The zombie will scare the villagers and they'll call for help. And what is the mob that helps villagers, ladies and gentlemen? The Iron Golem. <laughs> the Iron Golem will spawn on this platform. I'll put some water here and then he'll fall down into the lava. And below the lava, we have hoppers. That's right. And these hoppers bring the iron to this chest. Look, the difficult part is getting the villagers and zombies inside of the farm. And that is exactly where my prisoners come in handy. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, I stole Josh's chef. Yeah, Josh had a chef and I decided to steal him because why not? And in the first episode ever, we trapped this zombie, Caesar, the prisoner. Let me just quickly check how, uh, how our chef is doing. What's up, Chef Gerald? How's it going? You're gonna be really useful from tomorrow, okay? Now here's the plan. Both the chef and the zombie will be brought to the new farm using a boat. That's right. Let me just get a boat. Using the boat, I will bring the chef and the zombie over here where they will most likely fall into another boat. And believe it or not, when a villager gets trapped in a boat, they can't get out unless I break it. Watch, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Chef! We've got work to do, buddy. Come on out, come on out. Your day is, is gonna be great. Come on, come on, chef. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Man, it's so easy tricking Chef Gerald. I guess he's really excited to see some daylight. Look, daylight. He's been in there for months. Okay, park the boat. Perfect, perfect. Now, chef, listen up. I'm gonna break this boat and I want you to jump into another one, okay? <laughs> that is so easy. Oh, there we go. Now we sail this boat over land towards a little minecart area. Did you see that? Oh, look at that minecart. Oh, hello. Hey, Chef Gerald, you're about to go on a roller coaster, buddy. <laughs> Three, two, one, right about here. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna have to break the boat and hopefully the chef will jump out. Let me just get another minecart to be sure. I think there's one up here. There we go, yep. Thank you. Okay. There we go! It literally worked! It worked! That's how easy it is! You just push the minecart onto the chef and boom! He's up! Okay, stop, stop! Okay, break the minecart and then get back in the boat, Jelly. There we go. Now, as you can see, I've created some white areas. Now, that is technically the drop-off area for all the villagers. And the first one will be right over here. We need the boat to fall down. Eh, there we go. Okay, now we steer the boat. And... I get out. Chef, you're finally useful. Good luck. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Stop walking. Get another boat. Ah, it's already starting to get annoying. No, oh, Chef. Oh, our chef is really enjoying the roller coaster, isn't he? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. It'll work. Trust me. It'll work. Back in the boat. Back in the boat. Yeah, there we go. Try number two. Promise me you'll fall in this time, Chef. 
There we ah, Yes, there we go. <laughs> All right. Now, I wish I could grab those bolts back because I kind of need them. But for now, we are going to close this place off with what, what are we going to use? I guess just some cobblestone. Okay. There we go. That's number one. Now we just need three more villagers and our prisoner zombie. Now, luckily, I live right next to Pigtown. <laughs> and Pigtown is a villager's town where pigs and villagers spawn. So, yeah, all we got to do is, um, well, bring a villager over, I guess, right? Or three three more. It's going to take some time. All right, we've made it to Pigtown. Would you look at that? There's literally a pig on top of a tree. Now, I need to find three villagers that don't have a job. This guy has a job because he's, hot, he's got a hat on. I got to find some that don't have hats. Okay, well, that was too easy. Unleash the villagers! Now, unfortunately, these traps pig will be loose as well, but I, I think it'll be okay. That's one. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, that's two, but we can only have one in each boat because I need to steer it too. Come on, buddy, get in. All right, there you go. We have managed to trap one, two, three, and, <laughs> and, and some more villagers into boats. Now, we only need three, but they really like boats for some reason. I don't know why. So now we just create a little pathway towards the water, and that's all. <laughs> this is too easy. All right, number one. We're going to name him Timmy. What's up, Timmy? <laughs> you're going to be working really hard, Timmy. Yeah, you're going to have such a good life. I can tell that he's excited. Okay, one's in the water. He's going to stay right there, and I'll get some more. All right, number two, I'm going to name you Jimmy. That's right, we got Timmy, Jimmy, Gerald, and, well, one more. I need to think of one more name. First, I got to park Jimmy. There we go, Jimmy. All right, the last one. I'll name you Bob. <laughs> I was thinking of another name that ends with Immy, but I couldn't figure it out. So you're Bob, okay? Bob the villager. And would you look at that? Timmy and Jimmy are just waiting for me at the water. And now comes the hard part. Bringing them up to their new bedrooms. All right, Bob, get out. Get out. There we go. Jump into another boat, Bob. Excuse me, Bob. Did you forget that you're working for me now, Bob? There we go. Now, I would give them name tags, but I actually don't have any left. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll do it this way. Jimmy, you're up next. Remember, Jimmy, get into a boat. Here we go. Come on. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, into the boat now. Uh, Jimmy's a stubborn one. I can already sense that. Oh, Jimmy, and now Timmy. He probably thought I forgot about him, but nope, I did not. All right, now, all villagers are on land. <laughs> Come on, all we gotta do now is put them in the bedrooms. Let me just break this open to make it a little bit easier. Let me just send them up, and then hopefully, hopefully, it'll work. All right, so Jimmy's up first. Blop. Okay, that didn't work. Come in, Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, stop. Jimmy doesn't really want to, I see. I see how it is. There we go, there we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Jimmy's up. And now Timmy, there we go. <laughs> This is so funny. No, 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 Timmy! <sighs> All right, there goes Timmy. I think he'll stay there. Let me just break it to make sure he doesn't come back down. This is actually kind of annoying, guys. I'm not even lying. And last but not least, we've got Bob. Bob, come on. We gotta go up, man. We gotta go up. You got some work to do. You have a job now. All right, there we go. Woo! Okay, now, hopefully this is gonna be the easy part. Because it didn't really work out last time, Bob! Bob! Bob. Oh. For some reason, these two really like each other. I don't really get it. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll just have to, like, work around it somehow. Oh, there we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, now we can break the mine rails. And we can also break the floors. Now, Timmy, this guy right here is up first. Three, two, one. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop walking! Oh. <laughs> uh, a lot of hard work and annoying hours later, all four villagers are finally inside of their beautiful, beautiful holes. Okay, I need more cobblestone. And now they have their own bedrooms, right? Does, does it work? Do they all have jobs? One hat, two hat, three hat, four hats! Yes! They have jobs! And I'm pretty sure they can all sleep. The last thing we need is a zombie. Oh my goodness, Caesar! I'm coming for you, buddy! The zombie part should actually be the easy part because, well, 
Zombies are aggressive. The only annoying thing is now we have to wait until nighttime because, well, zombies die during daytime, okay? Hey, Caesar, are you ready? Come on out, buddy. Come on out. Oh, ow. Yeah, good boy. This way, I'm not gonna hit him. There we go. See, this is so much easier because, well, zombies are angry at you. This way, buddy, this way. Pretend I am food. How dumb is this zombie? Seems like he's really slow in water, guys. He is really slow in water. <laughs> okay, let's hope he doesn't fall here and die. Maybe we should make sure he doesn't. Come on. Yes. Come on, Caesar. Come on. Yes, good boy. Good, bo good boy! Yes, yeah, Caesar, good boy! Come on up, buddy! Right this way! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Caesar? It's working! It's, it's working! I'm gonna be so filthy rich! This way, Caesar. This way, right this way. Okay, so, for the last, th for the last thing, we're gonna have to hit him. We're gonna have to hit him in. Because he's obviously not gonna want to go in voluntarily. <gasps> He went in! <laughs> and would you look at this? It already started! The villagers are scared of the zombie. And when the villagers are scared, there is a small chance that an iron golem will spawn. Would you just look how scared these villagers are? See, the thing is, they kind of need to rest sometimes. You don't want to have them. Did I just hear something? Oh my goodness! Oh! One spawned! One literally spawned right there, and it's falling down. Ah! Ow! It's dying! It's working! It is dying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. And, and? 10, 11 iron ingots! <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, let's, let's wait some more. I want to see this again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's happening again. Oh, it's falling down. Oh, this is so effective, guys. This is so effective. See, the thing is, this is an AFK farm. I don't even have to be here. The Iron Golem is dying. And, and, 14, 15 pieces of iron. Because we have four villagers, it's technically happening all the time. And another trick, the zombie is jumping. Why is the zombie jumping, you might ask? Believe it or not, the villagers only get scared like half of the time because the villagers can only see the zombie half of the time, which means in that half, half a second, the villagers can sleep and they need to sleep. Otherwise, this farm does not work. <laughs> I'm gonna be AFK here. And well, when I come back, I'll check in the chest to see if we've got some more iron. Oh, also, I had to dig a massive hole here. Otherwise, villagers or I mean iron golems would spawn right here. Yeah. Whew, I'm back. I've been AFK for roughly two hours. Let's have a look to see what our stash is. Ah! Ah! Seriously? Oh my goodness, another iron golem just fell in. Ah, uh, that's good news. But I almost just broke my stupid farm. Stupid creepers. All right, anyway, let's uh, let this one die and... Oh my goodness! <laughs> I am rich! This is amazing. This is amazing! I'm gonna be calling my factory Jelly Ink. <laughs> Jelly Ink will take over this Hoax MC Minecraft server. I, I'm not even kidding. Another one's dying. This is just, this is going really well. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover this farm up so Josh and Craner do not know what I built in here. There's gonna be beautiful walls around it and there's gonna be a beautiful ceiling. I will make this look like the strongest and craziest factory ever. And not only that, I will now build a house made out of iron. I'll build land and other things. Ah, Guys, this is just epic, I love this. Oh, another one coming down, oh. <laughs> Oh, so sad. So, 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 so sad. I have too much iron. Yeah. Oh, I love this. If you enjoyed this video, then you have to press a like on it. And please let me know in the comment section what you thought I was building and what you want me to build next. Also, don't tell Craner or Slogo Man, but I might be trolling them soon. Yeah. I'm thinking I could sell this iron to them for a couple of diamonds without them knowing that it's me. I think that's a good idea. Let me know what you think. At 100,000 likes, I will build a new farm. Click right here to watch another video of mine. Do it now. Click here now. Do it for Jimmy, Timmy, Bob, and Gerald. Gerald? What's his name again? Gerald. Gerald. That's the one.